I'm Corey Duke. Here are your top stories from Two Works for You. The big concern this morning remains with the levees protecting parts of Tulsa and Sand Springs. Emergency management officials say the levees are working as they should for now, but the pressure that the water is putting on the materials is growing. And it's still not too late to stock up on sandbags before the next round of storms hits green country. Tulsa emergency management crews are setting up pallets of sandbags free of charge outside the Navy Center at Oral Roberts University. While they're free, it is important to not overload your vehicle while stocking up. And a flood emergency in Coffeyville, Kansas, where the rising Verdigree River is close to overtopping the town's levee. Overnight, dozens of people work to add sandbags to raise the height of the levee. And right now, the river level is 25.6 feet. The height of the levee is 26 feet. And as we first reported yesterday, city, along with Montgomery County officials, issued a mandatory evacuation for people living near the river. Now let's get the check of today's forecast from meteorologist Kirsten Lang. Good morning. Well, we still have flood watches and warnings across the area, and we're expecting more rainfall on top of what we have already seen here in green country. So here's how it's looking for us today on our future track. Scattered showers and storms expected as we head into the afternoon. Now our best chance for seeing this is actually going to come just a little bit later. It looks like by 5 to 6 p.m. Some showers and storms to the west moving closer in towards the Tulsa Metro by 7 to 8 o'clock tonight. And then we may still see a few of these lingering into the early morning hours of Wednesday. There's an enhanced risk for seeing these uh, storms become possibly stronger to severe with hail and wind really is the main threat with that isolated tornado possible as well. But hail and wind main threat with those. Then tomorrow we have another chance for seeing some severe weather, but also very heavy rainfall in spots. That's going to be from that I-44 corridor southward over towards the border with Arkansas. As we may be seeing some of these areas, pockets of rainfall getting up to about three to four inches at in some spots closer to Fort Smith and Tahlequah. Otherwise, looking for severe threat well to the southeast of us then as we head into our Wednesday. Here's a look at that future track rainfall. Again, some pockets of rain may be closer to three to four inches in some areas then as we head through the day Wednesday. So extended outlook 80s today, tomorrow chance for some showers and storms break on Thursday and Friday from that and then showers and storms return again by Saturday and Sunday. Corey. Thanks for tuning in to this digital news update. Keep checking back for updates throughout the day. I'm Corey Duke, two works for you.